Hello everybody and welcome to another snapshot tutorial video on the Stellar Trek. My name is Peter Tusik and today we're going to be talking about the key describer mode. Um, this is something that will be very useful as you learn or kind of gather yourself on the device and get familiar with the various buttons and how they function. Key describer mode can be activated from anywhere. Certainly we covered this briefly in the Startup Wizard video as it's the last sort of piece of information you receive in the Startup Wizard. I can access the key describer mode in two ways, so we'll go through both of those ways. The first is a global uh, way to enable this, and that is to double press the Where Am I button on my device. Again, if my device is in typical orientation with the USB-C port and audio jack facing me, uh, the bottom left button is Where Am I? I'm going to double push that button. I'm in explore mode, but it, it wouldn't really matter where I was, but I'm going to double press it and we will launch key describer. So I'm going to do that now. Key describer on. Now at this point, anytime I push a button, I will hear that button's function and also any alternative functions that are assigned based on other types of presses. So maybe a double tap or a long press uh, of that particular key. So let's just try with the right arrow. I'm going to press my right arrow. Next item, intersection or instruction. Press and hold, toggle open area locked. When using roots, press and hold, indoor root preview. So we hear a couple of things here. We hear that you know, as we are navigating menus, it moves us to the right. We hear that, you know, in terms of next item, we know that when we travel, if we've used a Victor Reader Trek or previous humanware devices like a Trek or Breeze, that right arrow is going to give us our next intersection as we are walking or traversing our environment. We also hear that if we press and hold, it will bring us into open area lock, which can be very useful when we're in a park, uh, maybe we're in a college campus, somewhere where we don't want to be on the street grid. We may want to force ourselves into open area mode to drop landmarks, uh, if you will, to, to be guided as the crow flies. Um, and so that could be a very useful piece to lock yourself into open area. We also hear that when we're looking at root instructions, um, so if we're getting pedestrian or motorized guidance, pressing and holding the right arrow will put us into indoor root preview, and that will allow us to then jump through the various instructions in our route. So again, we learn that by tapping that when we're in key describer. Let's try one more key here. I'm going to press my uh, let's press the go to key. I'm going to press that. Again, that's the top right button on my keypad. Go to destination selection. Press and hold root selection. So we hear that this button has two functions. If we tap it, it's go to where we can either enter an address or select any of our landmarks as a destination. Uh, or if I press and hold, it's how I'm going to select a route as my destination. And a route, again, is going to be something that was pre-recorded uh, by you as you, you walked or, you know, traversed that route. And you can certainly walk that route every day or backtrack from its endpoint to its origin point. Um, that is very useful for somebody who uh, maybe wants to avoid certain intersections or doesn't want to be routed with typical map sort of routing engine instructions and maybe wants to create your own route for something you're doing often that you're, that you're practicing or that you're learning. I'm going to leave key describer mode by double pressing my where am I button. Key describer off. And I'm going to talk about the other way we can actually access key describer. If you forget and you think, gosh, how in the world do I get into key describer? Press and hold your down arrow to enter settings, which we've done many times in these snapshot tutorial videos. Settings. Bluetooth. And now we will use our right arrow to move over to key describer. Wi-Fi. Landmark voices. Maps man key describer. And if I press confirm, I will turn this on. Key Describer on. Now again, Key Describer is now on. One way to get out of this is if I press and hold my back button, we know that always brings us back to Explore. So again, if I tap my back button here, let's just press it. Again, top left key. Back. Move back a level. Press and hold. Explore. So we hear press and hold. Explore. So this will get me back to Explore mode. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to press and hold the back button. Key Describer off. Explore. And we hear that key describer has been turned off and we are in explore mode. Again, this is just a brief kind of video on how we can enable and work with the key describer feature on the device. Very useful as we start to familiarize ourselves with various functions and will allow us to learn uh, some of the intricacies that we might not know about or maybe we, we haven't explored because we don't always just want to be pushing and holding buttons or double tapping buttons. Some of us like to explore. Some are more confident with kind of this aspect of, well, I want a mode where I can push a button and learn what it does, as opposed to actually spinning myself uh, out into who knows where by exploring. So we hope you find this helpful. Thank you for watching, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks, friends.